One of the most common questions I get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did for our viewers on YouTube is create a free mentorship course that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they get started. But please take note that there is limited seating every single week. So please reserve your spot at myinvestingclub.co. Link is in the description. All right, so yeah, mental exhaustion, because it happens to everybody. Um, and it's, it's, it's pivotal for me because I'm just about exhausted right now in about every sense of the word. And so we're going to talk about that today. So anyway, we don't have a rant uh, this week, but anyway, we're going to be going over the market sentiment in this webinar. Uh, we'll go over the risk targets and entries and exits of all the movers that, you know, we could have got this week using, you know, just basic support and resistance lines. Uh, then we'll go over mental exhaustion. And if any time you have a oh, fuck, SPRJ really 26, I haven't looked at it since. Um, um, and then, uh, Q and a anytime throughout the webinar and yeah, slump trading, uh, Kilo just posted it. If, um, if you haven't, if you're watching this on repeat and you haven't seen it in a while, it is episode 65. Uh, it, you know, it's a, it's a great webinar to watch before this one. This one will kind of build off that one. You don't actually have to be in a trading slump to be exhausted, but you know, normally it kind of happens that way. All right. So let's get going. All right, so um, we had a couple of, of bulls this week, which was kind of, you know, kind of refreshing. You know, we had SPRT, TCAT, RGC, and AMC were, I think, the, the biggest four bullish stocks that we that we saw this week in small cap land. I don't know if you want to call AMC a small cap. It's really not, but it trades like a, it kind of trades like a small cap as far as kind of this craziness is concerned and volatility. But also, like, you know, the smaller caps were looking up to AMC and, and, and gaining some some momentum off of it. And so I put it on here. It's, it's a bull, you know, as far as the sentiment is concerned, other than that, pretty much everything died. Um, as we've been seeing pretty much every stock do in, the, in small cap land for the last couple of months, but we did have some strong bulls, TCAT, RGC and SPRT. They were really strong. So that's, that's very bullish for the market. The only really like ugly thing that I saw that's, that was spectacularly ugly was the ADTX offering. That happened um and there's actually a funny meme for that some pumpers did that like some pumpers um tweeted and said you guys really think adtx is going to offer and i thought it was a really funny tweet because it did not age well because they offered like the next day today this morning so i thought that was pretty funny but uh it, it very bearish the fact that you know it just it makes longs really like nervous to hold anything overnight when, we, when we're kind of in offering season of the market when, when they're just a whole bunch of offerings hit the market, it just makes it very, you know, I had it the other day. I was thinking about taking a trade on TCAT yesterday. I, I was thinking about taking a trade on TCAT overnight because it held VWAP all day. And I was just, dude, and even just like a thousand shares, I was like debating. I'm like, do I want to wake up minus three grand because the stock decided to, to fucking price at $8. Like it was just in my mind. I was just like, you know, when I was trading at like 10 or 11, and I was like, do I really want to be down three grand tomorrow? And I just thought, it's like, no. And that was a possibility. Like, it's just, I mean, I didn't do the fundamental research, but I just assume, you know, because I'm lazy that all these can, all these are ready to dilute. Um, if I really wanted to take the trade, I would have looked it up, but I, I wasn't that stoked on it. Anyway, um, as far as the overall market is concerned, um, if you recall last week, I was talking about how, like, I felt like we reached, like, in what, in my opinion, is, like, kind of like the worst market of all, um, as far as sentiment is concerned. And what I meant by that is it feels like a cranky market, meaning uh, the market's not going up. And, and Oren, Oren chimed in last week, and we kind of, you know, kind of talked, talked about that, too, how there is a discrepancy between how well the, the indexes are doing and how well individual stocks are faring and how individual stocks are really still in the shitter, whereas the indexes are kind of just at all time highs chilling because of FANG. You know, basically it's just five, six, seven, eight, nine companies really just ADTX, SGOC. SGOC was a good one. I really wish I would have traded it because it was the cleanest mover all day, in my opinion. Yeah, we'll go over SGOC, ADTX, BPTH, and uh, TCAT. TCAT, what day do you want to go over? Because it normally takes me about like five or 10 minutes for each ticker. And I think that's all the ones I we can do. RGC, I really don't want to go over RGC. I don't think anybody should be trading it. 
I mean, nobody should be trading it. I don't even want to go over it. It's too, no one should be trading it. Like, so TCAT today, one, two, three, four. GSMG, that one was just a strict range trader. I'll briefly go over that one, but okay, let's go over the first one. Uh, SGOC. Oh yeah, I have to get rid of this, huh? Yeah. So SGOC is the one I wish I would have traded because um, it was clean, um, but I didn't really see it until this move. So, um, uh, like in hindsight, this would have been a great trade, but I, I can't say that I I took it because I was probably in another trade or two. Um, but this is a good first bounce trade, and so here's the. If any of you guys saw my boot camp idea um, or my boot camp video, you'll you'll know of this idea where um, if the one minute first bounce looks kind of fucked, I, I tend to zoom out and go for the five minute one, which is it's funny. Like yesterday or something, I, I made a call on one stock uh, and then I, I I left. I had left already, but uh, it was a stock. It was a stock that um, I was like, oh, probably nine fifty needs to be the bounce. The, the necessary bounce area for the stock and it bounced right off 950 and then made a new high. I think it was TCAT. Um, yeah, it was TCAT. Yeah, it was definitely TCAT. And it's like when the first bounce looked, looks a little fucked on the one minute, then I, I tend to zoom out and go for the five minute one just because if the one minute's dirty, then maybe the five minutes is kind of cleaner. That's kind of the way I like to do it. And this is a nice, I mean, look at how clean this looks. A nice bounce off eight on the five minute chart. And you know, this one minute's a little kind of messy here. You know, it's just kind of like on a one minute first bounce, I'm kind of looking for it here at eight. You know, this kind of, I'm looking for this kind of bounce off eight. And I, you know, if I would have traded it, I would have missed. And then like here, you know, it gets too extended here. You can try here, you know, and it would have, it gave you a little try. And this is one where it's like, oh, fuck, 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 probably going to stop out. But then like, you can try again on this eight here if you just, zoom out a little bit. This is where I think a trade could have been taken. I know it's hindsight, but this is a solid eight buy for a first bounce on, on this kind of move. Yeah. And so 820, see, that's that kind of one minute first bounce. And it was kind of like the problem with the one minute first bounce was these two candles looked really harsh. Um, these two candles looked really harsh and probably scared some longs out. So you buy here at 820, it looks great off of this kind of level here. The problem, it's okay to try, but look, I mean, you kind of get this, you kind of get this little, oh, here's the try, and then you have to stop out, right? Yeah, there's, I don't really see an 820 daily. Oh, right there. No, I thought that was 811. But yeah, no, yeah. And so, yeah, it's worth a try. It really is. Uh, but then, like, you know, you stop out. This is where you can say maybe eight holds. It, it's, you know, a wider time frame. You have to size down, widen your time frame a little bit maybe risk something like 780, you know, you know, give it more or 770, you know, give it that kind of maybe, you know, I think this was a perfect hold of eight, but this didn't have to be perfect. You know, the wider time frame you go, the more slippage you're going to get. So like, you know, you could have bought here at eight. What you really have to allow this to do is to kind of come down here and maybe have a red candle to view up and then maybe back up and, and then come back. You really have to give it that. The, the wider time frame you go, the more stuff that you have to give. You guys should write that down. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.